Now this is Segmentum or DVR Fin X-Ray. And I'm gonna be doing a playthrough of the offline mission number 36 called Final Resistance on Inferno difficulty for Earth Defense Force 6 playing the fencer class. Now this is a long video so I decided to do a commentary where I explain the weapon loadout and the strategy in the short first part and then after you, you're done listening to that you can you don't need to watch the rest of the video. I figured it's better just to explain it and then the rest of the video will have chapters where you can skip ahead to each phase of the strategy just to understand better how it's supposed to be implemented but you don't have to watch the entire video there's gonna be a lot of uh, waiting in between uh, kiting around the enemies and implementing the strategy and that's just you know, at this stage in my character, or my avatar, only a thousand health, that's the only way to do this on Inferno that I can think of, especially since I haven't acquired any more powerful weapons. So, um, let me get the discussion started about the weapons first. Uh, so I'm going to be using a hand cannon loadout, and I've got the level 51 cannons. I got these by playing Inferno on some prior missions. Uh, may have been the Grenadier mission, where you get the androids with the uh, grenades for hands. And that's a fairly uh, a fairly easy mission to get through on Inferno to get some of the higher level weapons. And mine are upgraded a little bit, not all the way, but they got pretty decent damage and capacity and reload time. So I do recommend this is the type of hand can you should get. You can try the 104, but uh, you may not have necessarily the capacity you need or the stopping power. You see the damage is a lot less, about 30% less. So uh, reload time is better, but you're going to need to get a lot of shots in the enemies on Inferno. So I recommend the hand cannon. Now, I do not recommend missiles or the or the mortars because in this city mission you're going to need to use the buildings as cover. So if you use the uh, the explosive munitions, you're going to take down those buildings, and it's going to make it a lot harder uh, once you get later in the mission and the uh, the enemy tail anchors start firing their plasma rounds at you because they can target you from all the, all across the map. So you're going to need the buildings as cover. Uh, and then my other loadout is for uh, simply to have uh, short range defense as well as the ability to jump dash. And I've got the Galleon Lightweight Cannon because so I'm going to try to avoid uh, uh, shooting my, my uh, EDF colleagues inadvertently, though they do like to run in front of your line of fire. Uh, but you could use the Dexter Automatic Shotgun, that's fine, and the Hand Gatling, whatever you think works best against the Android enemies and the insects. Uh, I'm going to go with the Galleon Lightweight camera uh, Cannon. And then I use the Jackhammer, but you could use another... Uh, another uh, uh, piercer, if you'd like, or another striker uh, or piercer. Uh, the spine driver's fine, but uh, this uh, Jackhammer 3 might be fine as well. I've got this one upgraded to 500, and the one I've got does 800, so either one's okay. Then you'll need the muzzle stabilizer to uh, control the recoil on your hand cannons. I've got a higher level one here. It gives me 9% reduction. A level 5 should work. Uh, a level 4 is okay, but you're going to be really fighting the recoil because you're going to need to get a lot of shots on target very quickly just due to the nature of the enemies. And then I've got a multi-charger. This is a high level one. You could also get by with a 4.3 or maybe even a 3.4. Both these might be adequate as long as you have um, a charger equipment that will get you away from an area very quickly to avoid getting overwhelmed by the insects or the androids. So now I'm gonna load up the mission. I'm gonna spend a few minutes talking about the strategy. And after that, you don't really have to watch the rest of the video. So let me get it on Inferno. If you probably see here, I've not completed it on Inferno yet, but I'm pretty confident this strategy will work at some point. So and they had the same mission, EDF-5, but it was much further along. I think it was somewhere in the 70s or 80s in the mission list. And by then your fencer was a lot better equipped, had more armor. And uh, it wasn't that difficult to get through it on Inferno. This mission's a lot tougher to get through on Inferno compared to the one in EDF-5. Part of the reason, too, is the, uh, the, 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 anchor, uh, the anchor teleporters uh, are, are a lot harder to kill. You know, they're shielded, and they also have those uh, tendril weapons that they defend themselves with. Are we the only ones here? Okay, so my team's going to talk here, and I'm going to gather them up and head over one of these buildings to see if I can... Uh, talk about the strategy from a higher altitude. We can't just stand by while they destroy our Earth. Also, it makes things harder is the fencer's uh, a little nerfed his movement uh, compared to EDF-5. I mean, it takes longer to get the right power-ups to get um, the dash a little faster. You can use the reverse chargers, but they don't have one like that from the multi-charger. I'm going to go on top of this building, and we may aggro some of these Type 1 drones. I, I can't be avoided. Alright. So I'm going to talk about the strategy, and the strategy is implemented about five 
five or six phases. The first phase is to take out this first teleportation ship and its uh, heavy enemy defenders. We're going to uh, aggro these defenders and lure them over here to this, um, I guess, to this plaza. And this is a good place to sit because you have, it's very easy to get your cannons focused on those enemies while they're charging at you. Uh, though you won't have any cover yourself. And then once we take out these three enemies, the uh, the two cosmonauts and the one heavy android will take down this teleportation ship. Now phase two will be to take out all the other heavy enemies they're guarding all the, the remaining four teleportation ships. I believe there's 11 enemies in total. There's seven remaining heavy androids, and there's two cosmonauts in the distance there, and then there's two of these colonizers that are armored. So that's 11 enemies, and I don't recommend aggroing them all at once. I recommend maybe uh, aggroing uh, two to three at a time, maybe four. Four can be tough. You might lose your entire EDF team, your, your, your team members, uh, when you do that. But uh, just aggro them to get them back here in this plaza. And once you take those out, that'll be the end of phase two. Now phase three, you're going to go back to work on the teleportation ships. We're going to get the one that's over here uh, at the highest altitude, and you're also going to relocate your team back over here to the quote east side of the map from your starting orientation there's a corner over here uh, where you have some cover from the uh, the enemies that are going to be that are forthcoming and it also you have uh, it's very easy for you to get uh, to take out this teleportation ship and then jet back to the corner now after you do that uh, three uh, tail anchors are going to warp in and they're going to uh, sit i think over here I think, one, one's, no, I think one's going to be around here near this corner, one over here, and then maybe one over in this vicinity. So there's going to be three teleportation uh, um, uh, or tail anchors, and um, once they show up, they're going to start dropping androids. And so this will lead us to phase four. So for phase four, you're going to be starting way back here in the northeast corner where you have cover from the tail anchor weapons because we they're going to be targeting you across the, the entire map. All because and you're going to come up and aggro life. one of the tail anchors, you're going to aggro the androids and get them to chase you back. Now um, you can also instead take out this, um, I may I may switch plans here, I may go and take out this one teleportation ship in the back that has the red ants, it's because if you start aggroing the uh, the androids from the first tail anchor, it's also, going to, it's also going to have the red ants go after you. So you may as well take out the red ants, that may be a better thing to do. So, Okay, phase four, I'm going to take out the red ants. And, um, and then get them to, to come after me. There may be some other enemies that come after. We'll take them out. And then uh, um, then also part of phase four, you're yeah, going to yes, take sir. out either uh, the spider ship or one of the tail anchors. I may try to take out one of the tail anchors. It'll be easier to do. I'll aggro the androids and they'll chase me back. And then uh, once they're out, hopefully chase my team members and the androids are far away, I'll come back to the tail anchor and I'll jump up and take it out. Um, one thing important, even though I have hand cannons, you don't want to stand under the anchor and try to take it out that way because you'll leave yourself open to attack by the remaining, by that tail anchor and the other three tail anchors. They will wipe you out if you stand there in one place and they have it. They have a bead on you, which they likely will. The one instead is uh, use, your, use your jets here your, and jump up to it and blast it with your short range weapons. That's the way you want to take out those anchors uh, without, so that way you can avoid being attacked by their tendril weapons. And then by the time you take out two of those ships, I believe you'll get some reinforcements. I think that, uh, I've already killed this guy real quick. I think you'll get uh, two exoskeletons will come in from this uh, eastern side of the map, the southeast side of the map over here. And they're just going to make a beeline for, uh, I guess, the remaining teleportation ship and any anchors. So um, they could make your job a little more difficult because you'll be trying to go through and, and aggro the remaining enemies around the ships, get them to chase you, and once they chase you, and you just keep them, you make sure you don't kill them, you can come back to the undefended ship and take it out. Same for the, um, same for the, uh, the tail anchors. So those are like the, the five or six phases. I'll just, I'll summarize them again, just for quick reference. So phase one, we'll take out this uh, closest teleportation ship and its heavy defenders. Phase two, take out all the heavy defenders, all 11 of them. They're around the uh, they're around the ships by aggroing them remotely. Phase three, take out this high uh, the, this high altitude teleportation ship. Phase four, uh, take out the red ants and possibly the uh, the spider ship and maybe one tail anchor ship. And then uh, your reinforcements arrive. And phase five is just go through and take out uh, each aggro enemies and take out each remaining anchor and ship as best you can. So. 
At this point, you don't have to watch any more of the video. Uh, you, or I'm also gonna have chapters. So you can skip ahead to each section or each phase as it's as it's implemented. I'll try to skip all the boring parts. I'll also try to mention the video if you watch some of the combat. When it's gonna, um, there's gonna be a waiting period, and you can skip ahead. So all, all that being said, system. let's get the uh, yeah. let's get the party started here. I'll go after these guys. They're more dangerous against uh, my my team than uh, that android. When the android gets closer. Why that uh actually getting in my way there. Unlock weapon system. Yeah. Prefer distance yeah. to the enemy. Let me see. Get down here. It looks like I'm hitting the rim of the building. Unlock weapon system. So where's the yeah. end? Building here and help my team out from below. Remove spare safety glasses. Yes, sir. The enemy. Yes, sir. Let's get to the bottom. Now is the time. The reaction is over. Yes. Why is your fence? Your fence likes to get the way you're lying to fire a lot. I don't know why that is. Now is the time. Sensor is responding. Please, leave it to me next time. I can cover it again. Alright. Okay, I'll wait for him to come out of cover. Approaching the enemy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Launch spears. Yes, sir. I'm the ultimate soldier. Prepare to engage. Yes, sir. Ready for battle. Good. Okay, so I want a bad start. Sometimes you get two androids. You gotta watch out for that. We didn't aggro too many of the smaller enemies. Maybe they did, and I wasn't paying attention. Usually we get one wave of ants coming after. But my uh, teammates didn't take much damage. Maybe we didn't get any ants. Okay, there is some damage, I'll just heal him up a little bit. <coughs> now one thing too is on your teammates, I like to keep them alive to act as decoys, yeah, but you probably down. will throughout the mission oh, lose uh, Storm 3, which your fencers, and Storm 4. Uh, they're all probably going to go. Now, <coughs> your Storm 2 team members, the ones who are your, uh, your, your you know, the team that you know from EDF5, if they get wiped out, there's a... Um, uh, a trigger where if you it's take out all the enemies that you happen to aggro and, and chase after you, then your team will come back to life. You've probably seen this in other missions, uh, that they'll all come back to life at a certain point. So if you, not necessarily destroying the ships, but if you take out all the enemies they're aggroed that come after you, then these guys will come back to life, but with half health, at least Storm 2. Now Storm 3 and 4, they're not, they're never coming back, just FYI. So you're, I wouldn't worry too much about trying to save them. Okay, so let's head up to the, uh, here and try and get ready to take it out. Now, if you can't take it out in one shot, you should move quickly because these ants can wipe you out at this armor level. They can wipe you out very quickly, and even in a thousand. And we got a lot. We have a lot of drones over here too. Okay, I got to watch out and hit my uh, my uh, my wing divers here. I won't get them back. Get out of here. Outside the range. Confirm distance. Outside the range.
We'll head back to this area. I think the rangers are gonna be okay. We get over here and then the uh enemies get a little bit uh team gets a little bit further away from aggroing other enemies in the distance. Hand cans don't let you rotate that much. You don't have that skeleton yes, upgrade right now. Move the train body and a power. Eliminated. I haven't had enough. Okay. How are my team holding up? Rangers look like they're doing well. This guy, yeah, the defensors take a lot of damage here. Everybody's in pretty good shape, considering. Leave this health in reserve. We're gonna we're gonna need it. For these stuff. I'll take this health. All right. So this ends phase one of the operation. We managed to take out this first teleportation ship. So okay, start of phase two. We're gonna be trying to aggro and take out all the remaining heavy enemies that are guarding the remaining four teleportation ships. And there's quite a few. There's seven of these heavy androids, which they're uh, they're tough to kill, but they're very slow. And then you've got the cosmonauts, you're familiar with those, and you got the uh, heavily armored colonizers. Now the uh, colonists have some, this one here in particular has a pretty powerful energy weapon. So you, you should be a priority target, so he doesn't wipe out the rest of your team. Just keep that in mind. And it's probably good to go after him when he's over here on this side. It may aggro both of these androids, but that's fine. Uh, I prefer them getting on this very far edge because then it, it's less of a chance. Yes, sir. I can see uh, having four of the heavy enemies come after you, but not five. After five, it may get a little tough. And you have to run around too much. So I'm just in my way. Let me see if I can aggro him real quick. Aggro this guy. Okay, he's aggro. Now we're going to head back. Yes, sir. I want to get back here is less of a chance of aggroing the uh, remaining enemies. Should still be able to get shots on them. Uh, Rangers will be in trouble, but they'll, they'll come back alive. Um, I help them out here a little bit. Ranger. Yes! Switch to reckless mode. This guy's a powerful guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The android. We got an android coming too from the left. The reaction is close. Nice gun. That's good. Behind a building, you know. Yes, oh, great. Yeah, good. Yes, okay, I got the most dangerous, uh, dangerous colonizer. Yeah. Colonist. Shoot them once they're in range. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Prepare for battle. An android yes, will kill your your uh, fencers. Yes, sir. Too close. Also up close. I'll try to rush him up Remove close and uh, safety kill me. Devices. Yes, sir. Sir. Range too, so. This android's probably going to drop him, jump on top of this building. Oh, there he is. Keep your guard up. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The other I don't know if I killed the other. Oh, there he is. Yep, I can't think about this guy. Ready to fight, aren't you? That's right. I'm not invincible. Oh, man, looks like I shot him by mistake. See, that's his own fault. He got my way. Uh, usually he says that he's close to death. Lord Spears. Yes, sir. I may aggro those uh, other androids. Yeah. Uh, 
Say I could have tried to go after him up close, but looks like I wound him enough. So okay, storm, that's Storm uh, three right there. You see, he's almost dead. So now I use this one I had in reserve. I'm gonna get these uh, armors just so I know they're not health. Anything that's not health, I want to pick it up because. Any remaining green pieces I want to be health or know that it's health I can get to if I have to. This one I'm gonna take now because uh some health in the middle. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get that health now. I don't really need that health myself. I may need one later. I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna keep that one health there in reserve. I know one of my attempts I uh, uh Got really low in health, and there wasn't any health left. So I'm gonna keep one of these boxes in reserve. Uh, so aggro any enemies unnecessarily. There's something over here. I want to show you. There's some I'll go and grab it. Okay, we're still in phase two, and we're still going to uh, still need to aggro the remaining defenders. We got one of the uh, androids, we get another one, there's one in the distance here. That'll probably trigger the uh, red ants. So okay, the and, uh, and the, yeah, just the red ants. And it looks like we can get the, I'm gonna trigger these guys too. The, uh, oh. I was gonna trigger the uh, cosmonauts, but I didn't wanna get the spires over here also. So. We got red ants coming. Uh, I want to make sure I don't trigger the uh, fighters. Yes, sir. Battle will begin soon. Yes, sir. Oh, we got some fighters. Four androids left. That's why it can't The reaction is close. Let me get yeah. those, uh, those guys. Okay, so now we get an android coming yes, and sort of cause it. Let's head back over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, here. I'll get knocked off. Oh, we're getting red ants. Oh, wow. We're getting a whole bunch of guys. All right. Great. More the merrier, I guess. Keep your guard up. 
Depend on the spears. Remember yes, any health here, it's critical. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time. Yes, Looks like yes, it's sir. stuck in the building. Oh, there it is. All my friends die. How should I spend my holiday? Those are so heavy on the ground. Armor and the grab is not even aware. The military isn't equipped. Okay, so we 
we still got our Rangers, we got one Fencer and two Wingo. We left three Wingo. Okay, so we lost one Fencer, is probably the uh, Sporting Fencer. That's the other main Fencer, is probably Storm 3. And then how's the health? You know, his health is a little weak, I'll go and grab this one. Okay, we're still in phase two, and there's, I see there's a uh, there's one android over there, and there might be another one, so I'm gonna aggro this two. Okay, he's aggroed. And there could be another one over here. Let me see if I can get to him. Oh, I saw him go over there. Oh, he's going up that building. And we got the spiders coming too. He's gonna possibly get me in. Back a little bit. I don't know what range those androids have. It's pretty far. The second android's coming too. Okay, good. All the. Oh, there's uh. We have three coming after us. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I wasn't expecting three. We have three coming after us. Yes, Gosh darn it. I need more fire. Yeah, the Rangers take damage better. The other team has done a lot of damage. Take shots and move on. Remove spare safety devices. Yes, sir. Prepare to engage. Yes, sir. Increase output. Got it. Good. Uh, back this way. Yes, sir. Do a man get shot from. I may aggro the spider. Got it. Good spot. Everyone, stay alert. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Increase output. Got it. Switch to first mode. Okay. Probably climb from top of one of the here. Switch to increase output. I swear, I swear in Wing Diver's name. Switch to On your marks. I see him yes, moving sir. up, I think. I mean, so he's behind this building here. You can see his, uh... <clears throat> Distance with the enemy. Round up. Ready, weapon. Yes, sir. You have to be careful uh, rushing him because he can turn his. Uh, Guns wide on you, and he'll take you off pretty quick. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab this stuff. There's some health over there. Uh, 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 Hopefully, we might be done with phase two, because that was three androids, right? So, let's do a quick look see. Oh, there's one more. I see him over here on the left, on the spires. Okay, so we got one more android take out. Let's just uh, pick up real quick, just so it's off the board. I'm not taking out this uh, yes, location ship, but my plan is to uh, take out that one. Hmm. Alright, so we're gonna get this uh, android here in the aggro. Okay, he's aggroed, and now we're gonna get the spiders from after us. Can't wait. Battle will begin for battle. Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Battle will begin soon! Yes, yes sir. sir! Let's Weapons do it. Weapons are checked! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. 
building. The reaction is close. Yeah. Yes, sir. I hope that's all. Stabilizing that left. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so we got the android to deal with. Prepped and ready for battle. Let's do it. System normal. Ready to engage. Increase output. Got it. Okay, we got one drone that's uh, been aggroed. Prepare for battle! Yes, sir! Prepare for battle! Yes, sir! On your marks! Yes, sir! Alright. Okay, thanks for finally on the stage, dude. I'm grab the uh, power of the Yes, sir! Health, health kit there. We got one wing die which will hurt, but then grab the health. You don't have to necessarily heal your teammates, but it may be helpful later, so uh, health right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that one. Uh, there's a lot of health here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this health. Wing divers, they won't come back when they're killed. Party time! I'm gonna grab this. Yes, sir! Okay, we'll leave the remaining health. That's, uh, that's fallback from you. Yes, sir! Alright. Okay, so. I will survive. On your marks. Okay, so now we're done with, uh, with phase two. And, uh,. Now I'm going to try to focus on this teleportation ship here. I guess we could also take out the spider ship. You know what? Now if we take out the ship, it's going to make the... Uh, you know what? I'm going to change the plan. I think I'm going to take out the spider ship instead. Because once those tail anchors come in, it's going to be a lot harder to get the tail anchor that shows up here with the spider ship around it. And this one will be easy to get to. So I'm going to change my... Plan. I'll mention that at the end of the video. I'm going to go after this ship instead. I think that's a better target. So we're going to aggro the spiders and then um, take them out. I'm going to save that health just in case we need it. Let's get a spider aggro. Okay, so the these appearance. tail anchors just showed up, and you can't that not stay in one place. You're gonna itself. get uh, you're gonna get attacked by these uh, tail anchors. Androids are coming! And we're gonna do is we're gonna get our team way over here on the other side of the map. 
I'm not gonna aggro anything just yet. Let's see what's happening on my team. Looks like that's the range. The Rangers should be okay. Reaction is close. Yeah. Uh, we lose some wing divers. I guess we lost some wing divers. See the tendrils are shooting my, uh, going after my team, and we're gonna try and get way over here on this other side of the map. We have better protection from the, uh, from the building. Plus, we're close to this, uh, this uh, teleportation Approaching ship. Approaching the enemy. Yes, sir. Go here so it uh, gets my team to head more this direction. The further that way, the further away from the, uh, the gray ants. Okay, at this point, you can skip ahead because right now we're waiting for the Ranger Squad Storm 2 to get over to this side of the map. Right now, we're on the east side of the map. Also be careful on this edge, you know, there's railing here, you can fall into the water. Uh, your fencers might, your fencers seem to be good about staying away from the water. I don't know about the rangers, but, uh, can't really do anything, just have to wait for them to, as long as they keep moving, they the shouldn't get killed by the, uh, yeah. by the, uh, alien plasma weapons yes, there now. Good news is, if they, if they do manage to die, they will come back. If um, if you manage to kill a bunch of aggroed enemies, they, they they seem to come back after a certain period of time, or after you you've triggered killing uh, a set of enemies. So just gonna patiently wait for them. You can skip ahead. Or we start. Oh, no yes, sir. Start. Uh, I guess phase system. four. We'll Count call down it. to the battle. Can't do a lot of damage on them. Can't do anything about it. Yeah. Well, I guess we can all go after right now. Let's go after have weapons that will uh, get you if you're out in the open and they'll also go after your team members. Okay, so I'm gonna try to I guess, get a little health for my team yes, here. I'm gonna do that in a minute. Let me get over here. I'll show you another place, a safe spot to hide from the tail anchors. Nice place also to hide your EDF team members. It's gonna be on the northeast side of the map, right about here. So this place right here is super close to the northeast edge from your starting orientation, and this is a nice little spot to protect your entire remaining team. Oh, we aggroed some, uh, we did that. We actually aggroed, I actually aggroed some of those. Yeah, that's good, and we aggroed the spider, I don't know if that. With the androids, we do that. Position with your eyes. Yes, sir. Got it. Show you my Prepare for battle. Yes, yes sir. You can attack after they get in range, right? Uh, flip it. Uh, Show you my move. Yes. Oh, yeah. Ready to jump. More coming here. I don't know how I aggroed them. 
I'll cover you! Prepare to shoot! I'm in a fight! Okay. I need backup! I said someone pick up! I know she's going all fours up here. Okay, I'm gonna go try and grab some health and all the way. And they'll, they'll take them out, sure. Help for them. I'm not gonna do it anyway. Help for them. Yes, sir. Nope, the towers are shooting me and my team. You don't want to stay in one place too long. You don't have any cover like this. Grab some health. I'm just trying to help my team out here. Approaching the enemy. I'm gonna grab this uh, mega health. I'm gonna head back. Approaching the enemy. Okay, so next target, I guess we'll go after these red ants. And the reason being is we could go after the one of the towers, but if you aggro that tower, then the ants are going to come after you too. So you may as well just take out the ants. You know, they're slow enemies, they're, uh, they do, it, is, it does take up or distract from your own shots. It is a point of pressure, so I'm going to leave this health here as a backup. Load here. Now, I might be able to attack this uh, teleportation ship from the side, from cover, from the towers, or from the uh, from the tail anchor uh, weapons. Oh, I'd no rather marks. do that if I can. Prepare for battle. I think we lost our fencer. Yeah, our fencer died. Which, Count uh, down he... to the back. Prepare to engage. I don't see him anymore. Yes, sir. So. Can't Made that a storm three. Is there a, is there a drone left? I saw Remove something fly over here. Devices. Yes, yes, sir. There might be another enemy. Let me see if there's another enemy that's coming. Kind of, yeah, there's something over here. It might be a drone. Prepare for battle. Yes, yes sir. sir. I saw a. Uh, there's something flying. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, see, he's not. He's not aggro. He's not aggro yet. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. That was a little confusing. Weapon system. Remove spare safety devices. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. So I'm going to try to take out the uh, uh, red ant teleportation ship with, from cover. Got it. I'll make sure I know where the cover is. Okay, I think I have some cover here. Okay, I'm going to wait a minute. Okay, I'll wait for these. Uh, if you stay in one place, you're going to get nuked. Which cover do I have? Any cover here? Not here. Maybe yes, right here. This is a better spot to be. Okay, I mean, I can shoot from here. Are you ready when it opens again? Then we'll be running from the red ants. At some point, we're going to trigger some reinforcements. Let's see if I can shoot from here. Maybe I can take out one of the ships. Now, if that was a nearby ship, maybe I can take it out now. Let me see. Let's see which one it was. Uh, save some time for the Android Drag Road. Okay, I think it was. Okay, I'm gonna go after that ship. Let me load up here. Okay, good. Oh, there's a few androids. Let me. Gotta be careful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna aggro those androids and go after them. Down the ag road. Oh, shit. I need to start shooting. Don't look down at me! Remove spare safety devices. Yes, sir! Yeah, one of our, uh, one of our, uh... Still alive. Okay, so I've ag road the, uh... And the spire dragon. Great. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to head back around and take out the, uh... Spare take safety out devices. one of those... Anchors. There's no way around it. I gotta get up close to him though. Oops. 
Side of the map, I believe. We have to deal with these coming at me. I can't believe the fight is still going on. This is going on. Supporting infantry units. There they are. There's the, uh, there's the armed exoskeletons. They'll help out here, I guess. Yeah, I can. Uh, well, maybe I can go after more of the ship. Let me see. I better go after the ship to save time. Like that one right there. Oh, there's androids the here. I get this. I can't get the. Can yeah, I get this ship? One minute. Let me go into the and try that. I'll get killed. Thing is, from here I may get killed by the spiders. Yeah, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to. I've updated my Looks like we're losing storm. Before. I almost shot me. Okay, I may as well aggro this one, these androids here, again, come after me. Let me come back and go after that tower. May I aggro the spiders? Okay, so we're, we aggroed everybody and we're going after them. Okay, I may I can get over there and kill another one of those ships. Those androids aren't aggroed yet. I'd like to kill this one if I can. Distract the girl here. Find your You want to jump up there, you don't want to stand under it because it will wipe you out. Okay, now we have a, a spider, one spider teleport, and one android uh, tail anchor to take out. Two things spiders Approaching the enemy. I'm going to take a shot. Oh, they're coming after me. Okay, they destroyed it. Right. Okay, we're going to have to move. Looks like I got two wing divers left. One, <laughs> one wing diver. Yeah, that must have been Storm 4. Storm 4! Signal lost! Yeah, we won't see her again, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, we got, oh, a fencer, still got a fencer left. I can't believe I've never seen a fencer live this long. Can't help him out Let me, let me do him Alright, I need to go off and wash my fencer. Okay. I have to head this way now, because they're coming after me. I think they killed both the armed exoskeletons. I don't see them anymore. Yeah, there's a uh, storm four. They're all dead. Now, if I kill all these enemies, they may come back to life. On your marks. Any spiders over there. 
Yeah, there's one spider. Just to help this guy man, keep alive a little longer. Oh, there's too many spiders. I'm gonna have to just aggro them once I kill these enemies, I guess. Help you know, Keep my uh defense alive a little longer. I don't accidentally kill them. Look, the reason why I'm gonna kill these things, I don't think I can get to the uh well you know I might be able to aggro it. Yeah, so I'm gonna aggro and have them chase me around anyway. I'm gonna try to kill the uh, spider ship next. See that I've got to aggro the enemies over there. I'm gonna take a long way around and try to aggro the uh Try to aggro the main spiders and then go back and take out the ship. I'm gonna do it this way in case they could take out my fencer. Uh, then they'll come after me. Okay, so you may want to skip ahead. I've got to try to aggro the ring spiders around the teleportation ship. Take it out. They may bring back my, uh, my ranger squad. I'll see you in a moment. Here. There's androids there. I can't take out this teleportation anchor. I know we circumnavigate them. I'm going to try to aggro the spiders, main spiders, and get them all come after me. See anything here? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's going to bring another one. I should have uh, come after me. I want to stay in one place. That ship will come after me. I should have used my. Uh, Galleon can on that spider, not the uh, not my uh, heavy cannon or hand cannon. Your spear. Your spider. Let's see if I can aggro him. He may die, I can't really do much about that. It's kind of hard to get to that last spider from up here. Without killing him. Don't remain androids. If I kill these androids, they won't come back. Maybe, uh, uh, I'm getting more spring spires? Huh. If I can kill it, and, uh, take them out. I don't know if that's going to aggro the other androids. I'll find out in the end here. I don't see the spiders. Something over here on my right. My uh, fence will take him out. Storm three, signal lost. At least he uh, helped out, though. Hero. Seems everyone is done for. Alright, so now we're down to the uh, last ship. The only thing I need to do is I need to aggro the... Uh, uh, if I kill all these... Uh, kill all these androids, the... Uh, my team may come back, so... 
I'm gonna go ahead and try and do that. I'm gonna try to uh, kill all these androids. I'll have to aggro them again. That's gonna take time. So you may want to skip ahead if you want to watch that. But I'm gonna try to beat this on Inferno. That's at this level. That's what you got to do. Let me head way over here. One thing about these long missions, there is a risk that you'll have a crash to desktop. And this game does crash frequently. Especially it looks like if you like finish the level and reload and load a new one, that's when there's a higher risk of crashing as well, I've noticed. So uh, if you don't want to like take the chance of playing a mission this long where you could run the risk of losing the entire thing, I would just play on an easier difficulty level and just come back to this at, at Inferno at, at a later time. That's probably the best thing you can do. Or it's the most time expe time efficient, that's for sure. Turret anchor. Tail anchor. Very good drop the water. Fires are more dangerous than the uh, and jump around flanky so It's gonna take some time, so I gotta uh, have no choice but to uh, uh, fight these guys until I can get the other one uh, set off. I mean, I could, I guess I could aggro the uh, remaining uh, androids while we're waiting, but I'd like to have my. Uh, that's a lot of enemies I gotta go after. I think I can do that. Maybe I'll aggro. Nah, I don't want to chance it. Too much of a risk. I may aggro them anyway once I start killing these other androids, right? Oh shit, yeah, see? <laughs> ah, one thing attention. Yeah, that's why I'm also kiting, because I'm worried I may not be watching my flank properly and then uh, I'll get killed in a stupid fashion. <laughs> that's something I gotta watch out for. Always um, don't stay in one place too long. That's how I've mostly got killed by staying in one place and then somebody flanks me. Or well, one of these uh, anchor, power anchors uh, takes me out with their uh, weapons. It's high overhead and you can't easily see it until it's too late. I guess I can aggro those. You know, I'm going to go and do it. I'm going to, I guess it's going to take too much time, right? So. I'm gonna get in the distance. You don't want to aggro them up close. I'm gonna aggro the uh, remaining androids and just have them chase me around, come back, and then take out that final final anchor. So let me get them aggroed here. Can't uh, the buildings. I can't see. Oh, I can't get them from here. Great, because the uh, there they are. I see them now. Okay, I aggroed them. Good. Some enemies while I'm here. Oh, I gotta move because that guy's gonna shoot me. If you stay out in the open too long, the uh, those big plasma weapons up there will will get you. Now there is a range limit. See, now maybe I'm at I'm, I'm at far enough range where they can't get me. That's also something you can consider. But you might want to chance it. See, let's see if they stop. Oh no, no, oh, okay, I'm at the edge of the map, wow. Yeah, it's kind of risky. It looks like there is a range limit, but you don't want to misjudge that. <laughs> okay, now these androids, I'm a little leery of these androids because they do have really good uh, range. So don't let, don't get caught off guard by that. I've gotten killed by them just by uh, misjudging the range of their attacks. Also, don't fall in the water and you're trying to stay out of their range. That's basically you know, the mission to do that. Distance here. Oh, sometimes this multi-charge doesn't, uh, doesn't react to your jump boost for some reason. 
Kind of annoying. It happened a lot more so in EDF5, but this game is a uh, It didn't do it that time either. I don't really want to shoot the androids, I want to shoot the spider though. Just jump out of the way. Great, I guess he heard me. Maybe my team will come back once I kill them. So I, mean, I want to shoot the androids now because that will, uh, they'll possibly come back. Okay, good. Okay, so the spider's gone. Now I can focus on trying to uh, take out this final tail anchor. <clears throat> I see one android by him. Great. Okay, so I'm going to have to aggro him too. That sucks. I guess I must have killed one by mistake. I don't want to stand there and shoot at him because the uh, <clears throat> that tower will kill me. I just saw him. Huh. Where is it? He's over there behind me. Where is it? Am I missing something? Oh, he's right there. Okay, I aggroed him. Yeah, well, I see the tower's already shooting at me. <laughs> so you want to stay in one place. Okay, now I've aggroed the uh, Ring androids. I don't want to shoot any more, so you can skip ahead because I'm going to basically just be circumnavigating the map again. So I can get the androids away from the tower so I can take out the tower. You know, once I've uh, <coughs> taken out the tower, just to let you know I'm going to uh, basically collect all the remaining boxes. I mean, one reason I'm playing this too is to get the uh, get the Inferno weapon drop because I'm having a problem on the very next mission on hardest difficulty. It's very it's tougher than I thought and I need more powerful equipment. I could also use more armor but I like using equipment. I like playing with less armor just to make the game more challenging. Now, I guess you could do that manually but I like doing it this way. Okay I'm covered. I'm just gonna wait for the androids to get a little closer. Look, if you see red dots, that means it's time to move because you're in their weapon range. Okay, I want to make sure that you stay out of the open because the, uh, the tail anchors cannons are still are still lethal to you, even at this range. Because if you stay in one place, all his shots will aim right at you. And they'll just they'll home they'll home in on you. It's really odd. It's not necessarily like a homing weapon, but it seems to focus in on your very last position. <clears throat> okay, maybe can I get over there now? Let me see. I might be able to go go for it. I'm gonna try it. Inside the shield. Oh, I ran out. Damn it. Keep moving. Shit. Okay, I messed up. Yeah, now I can see I would have I would have died if I'd stayed there. Okay, I messed up. He's almost dead though. Apparently, I got either outside the shield or two inside. But that's all right. Won't take very long. I'll just have to ag uh, move the androids away and head back. So we're almost done. Just uh, skip ahead. Should have chapters below in the video. If they're not there yet, they'll be added later. The 
then I'm going to leave an android or two alive and just go collect the rest of the pickup. That is the whole point of playing this mission like this. Okay, let me uh, wait for the androids to go over here. I think that'll be better than me moving around. Once I see red dots, that means to move. That means you're in their weapon range. At least for me it does. There's one trying to flank me over here to my left. Okay. See red dots. Now we move. If you don't want to chance it, they could pop up over a building and then suddenly you're host. Suddenly you take like 30% damage. Make a straight beeline because the, uh, I have a, they may be able to get there very quickly, and I want to have time to take it out. My weapons are ready to go. Here come my nemesis. Target the patriot. phases of the strategy and taking out all the towers all that's left is the, it's the androids from two of the tail um, two of the tail anchors and I just need to mop them up at the same time I'm also going to pick up all the remaining boxes I didn't take before this is a long mission again and if you don't want to deal with something this long I, I recommend that you play this mission on a easier difficulty and then just come back to it later in the game at, 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 at Hardest or Inferno when you've got the equipment and armor for it. Because this is a really long roundabout way to do the mission. I'm sure the developers didn't intend that. Oh, it looks like there's one spider left. I didn't realize that. So I'm sure they, they didn't intend, us, intend me to play the mission like this, but that's the way I like to play it. And um, So now I'm just going to try to finish off the remaining enemies. And, um, oh, that's weird. And just make sure you don't get flanked. These uh, these androids are tricky. And you see them climb all around the buildings, and they can snipe you uh, at fairly fairly good range. So be aware of that. I'm gonna try to collect boxes. And clear them out. I don't know how long this is gonna take. See, he already had. See, I was in his range right there, and he wasn't even on my radar. I mean, as a dot on my radar yet. Something to keep in mind. Now I can get on top of a building and shoot at them, but keep in mind they can also climb buildings pretty easily. But now you're safer out in the open. I don't have to worry about anybody sniping at me. So if I see them, I can shoot them without worrying about getting flanked or shot by anybody else. I'm going to start doing that and picking up some of the boxes. Take some out. I want to shoot now. What's one of the dialogue saying to the game? I want to shoot. <laughs> I don't know if you hear your EDF team members say that. Spider one. I right, want to be careful here. We will start shooting. Just grab boxes. Way around. Maybe dangerous sniper grab. Over here. Oh, 
hope I can get stuck. Oh shit. Oh, Man. Oh. That was almost game ending there, wasn't it? Sometimes you get stuck in the architecture and I don't have any weapon that can destroy it. So, gotta be careful sometimes when you jet around this game. More health, I'll grab it. Now, the corner of this map, there is an opening that'll give me uh, another, another uh, kill zone to target the androids from, like right over here. This is the corner map. There's a lot of debris here already. These buildings are already destroyed. I won't stay here. <laughs> yeah, I took almost a quarter of my uh, quarter of my health is taken off with one of those claws. Yeah, that's why I've been fighting these enemies. They're, they're very dangerous, even on Inferno, at least for my level. Yeah, I need to take off a bunch more of these androids before I can safely start collecting the other boxes. I'll take some, I guess, but I got I got to watch my back. Oh, see, I almost got, got hit there. Yeah, that was risky. I shouldn't have done that. Let's see if I can start shooting him. This is a good spot, I think. Kill all of them, so I want to be able to collect the box, the loot box. Got some left. Here, I gotta watch out for that. Let's get him back here just to be perfectly safe. It's so easy for these androids to flank you. You really gotta be careful. I'm hoping once I get more powerful weapons, it'll be easier to get through this mission. I do intend to play it again. I know it sounds crazy, but you get a lot of boxes, a lot of drops, so why not? The way their heads bob around is kind of a challenge to hit them. In French, once you kill one, you should move because you just don't know who is going to be flanking you. Looks like there's four left, that's good. Getting close to the end here. I thought my storm team would come back, but I guess, or, or the uh, storm four, but I guess once you've, um, after you've, uh, the armed exoskeletons come in, that's it. I guess they're done. They don't come back anymore. No. At least they'll come back for most of the mission. Yeah, there, there they are, right there, all Storm 4. They're still disabled. Okay, let's try and take out most of them except for one. 
Still not open target. Okay, now we got one left. All right, now I'm gonna start picking up loot. Right there. Okay, so this phase I'm picking up the remaining loot, and hopefully there's nothing that will get this android killed before I do that. Try and grab everything there is, and I don't think there's any more enemies after this. This is the last enemy. Darn it. He can still kill me if I'm not careful. What's over here? Oh, right. Kind of leery grabbing this. I want to get stuck on the terrain. Huh. It's more of a risk with the buildings. The buildings and the windows and the apartments, sometimes you get stuck like an apartment. That's why it's also good on some weapons, some missions to take the uh, explosive munitions, because then that's the way you blast yourself out of, out of trouble. That's some cover up here, hopefully. Weapon drop. I think I got as many drops as I wanted, really, but I'll take what I can get. I mean, the point of this was to show how to get the inferno. So. Careful about uh, destroying things too, because uh, I don't want another crash the desktop. Which now I say that. Where is he over there? I see some drops up there. Let me head that way. I'll try and destroy them. guard down with these androids. You just, you just never know. They can hit you from a lot further range than you think. Try to see if I've gotten everything. I'm not going to grab like all the extra health. Like there's some armor pieces there. I don't really care about that. Oh, there's a, there's a weapon drop. I think. No, it's just armor. I don't care about that armor. Okay, here we go. Let me try to kill him. That's it. Let's see what we got. Be a lot of stuff, I hope. Okay, power disruptor. That's not really great. An update to the Bloodstorm. G4 arm hand. I've already got that. FRE explosion mortar. See, I've already got a lot of these weapons. Uh, I didn't really get any brand new weapons, unfortunately. Just upgrades to existing. But 
So anyway, that's an idea of what kind of weapons you expect to get is Fencer. Looks like it's levels, uh, I got level 39 to 62. And I don't, I don't know the exact weapon list, so, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I got 15 various weapon upgrades and weapons for the Fencer. Just one new one, because I've already played a few Inferno missions, and then, uh, of course you get a bunch of weapons, higher level weapons for your other classes. So, Power Disruptor, is this a one-shot weapon? Yeah, you can't reload this. I guess it's a gimmick weapon. You've got the Canister Cannon. I've heard this is a good weapon. I haven't used it that much. Uh, I've already had this one. Reload time. Reload time is long. 12 seconds? Ugh. Yeah, I'm not really crazy about this weapon. May it's fair in multiplayer. Okay, this is one I already had. Increased my range. I don't use mortars that much. This is brand new. I don't see where I would want to use this either. Maybe later in the game. And this is uh, Phoenix 2. This is an online only missile. Bloodstorm. I haven't used this. It's only got... A, right now, mine only has a capacity of two. So I've, I've never really used this weapon. Uh, I heard some people use it, but I haven't found a need to use it yet. Maybe it'll come in use later in the game. Armhound. I've used this quite a bit. Oh yeah, knock my lock out. This is really effective. Look at the capacity. 25 rounds. Now lock on time of uh, less than one hundredth of a second. hundred that's actually a hundredth and thirtieth of a second, I guess. So that's that's a good deal. Um, this this has been effective. The damage is low. I need to get the damage up on this to make it more effective. Uh, this is useful and this might be useful in the next mission I'm having problems with the tadpoles. There's a lot of tadpoles and this is one of the best weapons to use against the tadpoles and possibly the um, the hornets, though it doesn't, it, the hornets probably require more damage. So this is good. This gives me incentive to play this again to upgrade this weapon. And then these are all ranger weapons. And that's it. So this is the, this is the furthest mission I've gotten to in, um, in EDF-6. I'm trying to play the next mission on hardest, and you see so far I haven't been able to get through it. It's, it's really tough, and it is, an, it is a, an EDF-5 mission, but it's got, you know, some of the enemies from, uh, I guess it may have some, some of these from 6, so. All right, Inferno is done, and now you've seen how to do it, and there may be a better way to do it, but at this mid-level of Fencer, this is the only way I could think of. I did try a few other options and strategies, and this seemed to be the most effective and probably the fastest way to do it. Now, if you have more powerful weapons and more armor, it might be easier to get through this, but uh, just things to remember is you um, want to try to clear out all the uh, the heavy enemies individually around the teleportation ships. I think that makes the rest of the mission easier. And then once the uh, the tail anchors arrive, try to just take out the uh, the closest teleportation ships uh, until your reinforcements arrive, and then just aggro the androids, get them to chase you around. And once you, they they chase you around, come back to the undefended anchor and then jump up to it and try to blast it. Make sure you get it on the shield and also make sure you're, you you time it so it's not able to hit you with its plasma weapons. You see that the, uh, the tail anchors can still hit you and even kill you while you're right underneath them. So that's something you gotta keep in mind. I've gotten killed many times just by staying under it trying to shoot and then it and one of its other towers uh, anchors just wipes me out. So that's something to keep in mind. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this really long video. Apologies again for it being so long, but um, anyway, I hope this helps in your game and helps in your, your uh, gameplay mission, improving your fencer uh, playability, and take care.